Guys, what's up? It's Dave, Mr. White Ellis One. Thanks for joining me tonight in the carburetorsuck.com garage. So if you recall, last time we were working on these door panels, I uh, cleaned them up. I uh, cleaned one of these. I got to clean this other one. And we worked on the cluster and we got that all cleaned up. And uh, that's looking good. So one of my viewers suggested uh, just using some Scotch-Brite, which kind of sounds like a good idea. It seems like it'll conform well and we'll see what we can do. I don't really need to scuff all of this that much, um, but all of this chalky area, I'm gonna need to, uh, to scuff up pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna get working on these and uh, then we'll see where the night takes us. I'd like to get these cleaned up and get a coat of paint on them, get this cleaned up. That way tomorrow I can, uh, I don't know, I might sand the one tonight, but I need to sand both of these, get some stain on them, put some varnish. Uh, kind of sealer or something and uh, then they'll be ready to go so somebody asked about these being wood I, I mean I don't I mean I don't <laughs> I don't know if they made them from the factory wood I mean I doubt it I mean I would think that somebody just had just made these it's pretty simple because yeah look I mean look how much different one is from the other I don't know but anyways they work and uh, this one's kind of chipping a little bit but yeah that's it so uh, we'll get busy and see what we can get done I did some sanding on them. I, you know, I hit them with the pad, Scotch Brite, and to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna get them to look that good. You can see here how it's kind of smooth in some places, and then there's, you know, it's, and I, the more you go, like, you take the texture out, and then I think that's gonna make it look bad too. So, um, one of the viewers also mentioned that he covered it with some kind of like textured, uh, I don't know, like bed coating, or I don't know what he used exactly, but maybe. Maybe that would be a better route. I'm gonna do a little research and uh, see if I can find something that may be a better solution. Now I could paint them black and it would st it'd still look okay. I mean, it's just an old truck, but I don't know. Maybe I could uh, just do it once and have it look, you know, better. You know, because if it if it filled these if it filled some of this stuff a little bit and then everything was kind of a more uniform texture, I think it might look a little better. Yeah. All right, guys, we are back at it this morning. These suckers pretty well cleaned up. I'm going to try. I <clears throat> did a little research last night. I'm going to try and use this stuff. See how that uh, comes out. So I seen somebody who had used this and then he, I guess, sanded it. And then went back over it with some paint. I don't know, like use Scotch Brite on top of it. I don't know how it's gonna hold up, but I'm just hoping that it, it'll put the, uh, it'll might fill in these imperfections a little bit, and then it'll give it a texture. And so if it can give it like a uniform texture, then that's kind of really what I'm looking for. I painted these. I used that Rust Oleum truck bed stuff, and I gotta tell you, if you look at this one, it's, it looks awesome. I mean, it is fantastic. So. And then this is the first one I did, so I'll run the camera over it. Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? Well, I got a run there. I tried to dab it off and then go over it so it doesn't look that bad. I wish I would have done it on the passenger first. I got another little run over here, so I would caution you. It says to spray it about 12 inches away. I go like 18, start with like 18 to 20, and then see how it's coating. Because um, it comes out like full force like crazy, so... Um, but the look of it is just, it's fantastic. I mean, I dig it. Um, and it really kind of filled in a lot of the impurities down here. Um, you know, after I sanded it, it still didn't look that good. And I mean, if you look at it real close, you can see some, but for the most part, it looks really good. So I'm really not going to sweat this that much. I mean, it, uh, it ain't a show truck, but I just wanted it to look better and it does. Now my one concern is 
this stuff is like uh, supposed to be like non-skid so you know I'll just have to see how it feels when it's done it don't feel that bad I mean I feel like I could rest my arm on it and it wouldn't like you know rip my skin off or anything it's kind of like a real like light texture so that's okay I mean I don't think I'm gonna go through the trouble of sanding it down and then repainting it and what I don't know I, I just think that it put a good texture on it and it coated really well I only used two cans and I went through about a can and a half. I don't know what it is about those cans that spray this kind of textured stuff and even like the plasti dip. It's like it always seems like I get one can that just doesn't work worth the crap. So I ended up having to spray this one upside down because it wouldn't come out right side up. But anyways, yeah. So color before, color after. this uh, espresso satin so hopefully this will do it so I know it's had to go thin but I went kind of thick <laughs> we'll see maybe I can get it done in one coat I don't know we'll see we'll see what it's like when it dries as long as it looks pretty good then I'm okay if I gotta redo it then obviously I will so I just kind of went thick all around but yeah so I went with this espresso so hopefully when it dries it'll just be like a I don't know, it's just a pretty nice color. I guys wanted to show you this stain. It's dried now, it's stuck to this bag, but that color is friggin' awesome. I like that color. The espresso satin. Yeah. Probably, you can see how it's kind of a little off color there. It's probably because I went a little too thick on it, but man, that feels good. Um, it said to hit it with some like steel wool, some like double lot steel wool. And uh, and then you can go over it again. I don't said I don't know. I, I put it on fix to see if I wouldn't have to go over it again, but I don't know. I might. I'll but I'll think about it. I'll see how it looks in the morning. But I, I'm, I'm giving it plenty of time to dry. It's probably been drying for eight hours already. Um, but yeah, man, it looks awesome. And then these door panels. I talked about it in a little Q and A video, and you know you've seen me. Um, I was out here earlier talking about it, but I just wanted to show you before I wrap up this video. Um, feels pretty good. It, it's a little grippy. Uh, you know what I mean? It might, I don't know, I don't, it don't really feel that bad. I mean, it's not like it's going to tear your skin up or anything. Unless you got sensitive skin, I guess. So I shouldn't say that. I got my list over here that I started. I had it on paper, and then I still had to add more. So, uh, yeah, I just had to get... <laughs> I got so much stuff. I don't know if you can read it, but it's like freaking crazy. So I wanted to put it on my door. I found this stuff. The previous owner of the house left this stuff, and it's freaking awesome. So when I walk up, I can go, all right, what do I need to do? And then just start scratching stuff off. So it's probably still a couple months away. Um, the, the, the reason why it's slowing down a little bit, and so um, I can start like taking my time on stuff like this, um, is just kind of because of money really it's I don't really have like I said I don't really have much of a budget for these trucks so I just you know spend limited here and there um, I really try to keep it try to keep it simple and uh, as cheap as I can you know I mean obviously I try to do it right but I'm, I just want to keep it as cheap or in as much budget as I can so uh, yeah that's it so uh, anyways you guys take care till the next video